every time I turn the settings on on my camera, um, the sun goes off, and every time I turn it up, the sun comes out again to play. So it is going to be an interesting day trying to set it up, and also my hair is not behaving well today. But nevertheless, I wanted to sit down and make this video today. So that's what we're going to do. Today I had a conversation with one of my colleagues about how comfortable my home working space is. It wasn't this comfortable before. When lockdown first started in March, I really, really disliked working from home. Only because you're working at home and then you're spending the rest of your days at home also. So I thought that was, you know, everything in the same place. It was going to get really, really dull and draggy. And it's going to overlap into each other. I'm the kind of person when I get involved in work, I am overly involved in work. So you kind of forget all of your barriers as to when you start work, when you stop work, when you start your personal things and what else you do in your own personal time in the evening. So I found it really difficult initially to balance it out. It took me some time. Two months ago, you know, maybe even three months ago now, three months ago when I first started, I disliked working from home. But three months later down the road now, I find that I prefer working from home. I've kind of found the balance for myself and it works really, really well for me. And I wanted to share that with you. I also wanted to show you my working from home setup. Um, first and foremost, a bit of a disclaimer. I've always had this desk. I've always had a computer. As far as I can remember, ever since I was in school, I've always had a study table. All of my studying, homeworks, um, you know, computer time, everything has always been on a study table, never on the bed, on the sofa, nowhere else. And I kind of got used to it when I went to university, even after I got married, moved to my own house. I wanted a space for my laptops and um, all of my stationary stuff. I like to set different spaces for different purposes in the house. Another thing is, we spend one third of our lives working. So if you're going to be working from home now, a lot more now than we did before, it's extremely important to allocate a certain space for that. And it's important to make sure you enjoy your workspace. Especially when you're spending this many hours working in a day while you're at home. If it's a space where you need to drag your feet to every day, you're not going to be productive. You're not going to be able to enjoy your work. You're not going to be able to progress or do better or make life even better for you. I feel like having a dedicated workspace, having a routine, having a comfortable environment to work at home makes a lot of a difference to your work-life balance, um, to your work and personal life balance, and also especially for your own mental health. When you're at home all the time, you're spending so much time at home, you need to be able to segregate your work and your personal life. You need to be able to differentiate that. And this is one of my efforts in doing that and making things easier for me. So I just want to show you my setup. I'll talk you through probably the furniture, the equipment and everything else and I'll show you all of the things that I have and where I got everything. I wanted a fairly narrow and long table because I needed one for my side and one for Lakshman. Anything shorter than this wouldn't have worked for us at all. Um, so this was the best one. Anything bigger wouldn't have worked also. So this was the best one for us. Half of it is mine and half of it is Lakshman's. And I've got this drawer right in the center. That's the LX drawer. The first one is Lakshman's. The second one is mine. That's where I keep my MacBook and some of my other stationaries. The third one is where we share all of our stationaries together, all of our pencils, pens, and you know, scissors and staplers, basic office stationaries in there. The fourth one is kind of mine. We had something else in there, but now we've got some of my work notebooks and stuff. And the fifth one is Lakshman's. It wasn't meant to be his. It wasn't meant to be a dumping ground, but that's what it's ended up as. 
a lot of extra cables, a lot of extra um, gadget stuff and everything. Lakshman is a proper, complete techie. He likes a lot of extra stuff, you know, bits and pieces and everything, and I take from him. He buys everything and I take from him as and when I need it. So all of those are in there in the last one. The next one are the shelves up here. These shelves were meant to hold books. I was going to put some of my books and files and stuff there, but we did not fix it in properly. For some reason, it wouldn't take the weight of my books. So we ended up using it as decorative piece. As in, it looks nice. I kind of like the idea of having a shelf there, so I kind of um, decorated it with all of these things. And we've also got a magnetic board on the wall. That's something that we used a lot originally. We didn't have all of these computer screens before we started working from home. Now that we've got these screens blocking the way, we've kind of lost it. Um, we don't use it and there's no other space in the house where we can move it to where we use it. So we've just left it as it is. This chair that I'm using, this chair is from Argos. I think it is from Argos. It's not one of those, you know, super expensive chairs or anything like that. It wasn't meant to be long-term use at all. It's only for, you know, a couple of hours after work when we want to sit down and do our own personal things and stuff. But now that we've started working from home, I was sitting on these chairs for about 10 hours a day straight, 10, 11 hours a day even sometimes. And my back started hurting so badly, I just couldn't go out and buy another chair because it wouldn't fit in this room. It would be a bit too bulky and too big. So I ended up using these mats. It wasn't feasible or practical for me to go out and buy one of those expensive ergonomic chairs. It just wouldn't fit in this place at all. It would be too big and bulky and it wouldn't give me enough space to walk around and walk around and do anything else. I just found one of these um, cushions lying around. I bought these for my dining table chairs but never used it. I found it in the attic one day when I was trying to dig for something else out. And I put it in here and I used it and it's actually saved to my back. It saved my tailbone and my back and it's helped a lot. It's super cheap. I think it was about five pounds, maybe four or five pounds. I don't know, somewhere around there. That's all about the furniture that I can see. So I'll leave a link to all of these furnitures and all of the things that I talk about basically. If I can find a link, I'll leave a link down in the description box. On to the electronics. These monitors are not mine. This is my setup at work. My workplace gave us laptops when we had to work from home. But I'm the kind of person who makes things convenient for me. I spend a lot of time, effort and money on my own convenience. I make plans and procedures and schedules even for my own convenience. So when I had to sit and work on the laptop, I didn't quite like it at all. Because at work, I've got two huge monitors and I was so used to it. I just wanted it to be the same way. So I got one monitor from my workplace. I had one laptop and one monitor didn't work for me at all. It was so inconvenient. It was giving me such bad headaches. Lakshman had a spare monitor. I told you he's a techie guy. So he loves all of his, you know, technology and stuff. He's just geeky that way. So he had this spare monitor and took it from him. So he set it up for me in such a way where my, my laptop, my work laptop is right behind the wall there. It's just down there if you can see it. What I would do in the morning is I won't even need to pull it out. I just flip it open a little bit switch it on and then I close it back again. So that works as my CPU, it powers these monitors and then I work on the monitor as I would at work. Um, I brought the keyboard and the mouse from my workplace also because I never had these before. I only use laptops or MacBooks, so I don't use anything else at all. Um, what I figured was, because I was using my table for such a long time, when I put my wrist here and do my work, these parts started to hurt a lot which is extremely painful. So I bought these things, you know, the wrist, what do you call it, a wrist pad? I think that's what you, a wrist support. So you get this and this came as a pair. I bought this from Amazon. and It's one of those best things that I have ever, ever spent my money on. I think it was 11 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. There were a few, some were very expensive, some were cheap. The material is so good, regardless of how many hours I sit here and do my work. This part doesn't hurt at all anymore. The next thing that I need for work is this multiple USB port. Um, I need a few things. I need this for work and I've got a Skype headphone that I need for work also from time to time and I need to plug it in to a USB port. My USB ports on my laptop are already used because I need to connect it to both the monitors. I need it for the um, HDMI extension or something like that. It was inconvenient for me to actually pull my laptop out each time to plug it in 
and take it out and everything. So that's Lakshman's and I borrowed that from him. Borrowed it from him. Um, yeah, it's not going back to him at all. I'm keeping it for good now. <laughs> so I, I keep it there. And I've got a cable holder just by the edge of that table because there were so many cables running about and I just didn't want to look at it at all. I disliked it. Because when you're sat here, you're staring at it, you're only looking at cables. Even these two cables, I don't even like it. The dream would be to have wireless of everything. You know, one super huge monitor without these bezels here and then a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, none of those extra cables and stuff, wireless um, port for my phone charger and everything. But that's a dream. It will happen. Someday it will happen. Um, and to have a very good chair also. That's one of my dreams. Um, so I've got that cable um, holder there. Where I've got my MacBook charger. I've got my iPhone charger. This is my work phone. My workplace gave me an iPhone also, which is far, far convenient for me because I've got Apple chargers everywhere in the house. So I charge my personal phone there and I charge my work phone there also. I leave it for charge overnight. So I make sure I have enough charge for it during the day when I'm working. Um, that is all of my setup and I need to show you the cables under the table. I, I did mention that I hate cables. I don't like cables lying around and... You know, it just doesn't look nice and neat and tidy at all. So I got one of those cable trays from IKEA. Lakshman got it for him first because he needed a lot of cables. And I really didn't need anything until I started working from home. So I ordered one from IKEA and that came in. He fitted that for me. All of my cables are stored in there now. I've got more room to put my camera, battery pack charger there, and a lot of other chargers down there too. So that's how I've organized everything. This is one of those table protectors that I got from IKEA. It's meant to protect the table. I've obviously scratched all of these things here. Um, the table underneath this stuff is, is protected, but everywhere else is not really protected. If you can see, you can see scratches. Also, if you can see this tiny little thing here, I've got a minion here. I love this minion to bits. Absolutely love it to bits. I think I found this in Malaysia about five years ago. It's kind of dirty now. Um, yeah, I put one of those blue tags at the bottom because I wanted to stick it somewhere in the center. This was our divider on the table. 100 centimeter was for me and 100 centimeter was for Lakshman. I didn't want to draw anything right in the middle. So I measured the table. I literally measured the table and put this right in the center so that he doesn't cross over to my side and I don't cross over to his side. Didn't work at all. He had big bulky stuff that kept pushing over to my side and then I kept pushing things over to his side. So. Ultimately, we had to move it because we had to rearrange the entire setup on the table and stuff. So I just put it in front of me. And this port I got from Next. You know, when I saw the picture online, I actually thought that it came with a plant in it, with a plastic plant in it. But it didn't. When it got delivered, it didn't have a plant. I was so disappointed. I wanted to send it back. But I just didn't want to go back to the store to return it again. So I just kept it. That is it with all of the tech stuff and the furnitures and everything that I have for my office space. Show you what is up on the shelf here. The first one is this basket that we have, the filing basket. This is meant to hold some of our letters and envelopes that come in. And you want to, you know, before you file it into your actual files and everything, you, you want to have some sort of space where you can gather everything and then you look through it when you have the time and then you put it away. So that's what the space is meant to be. A lot of things we haven't put away at all. We've just dumped it in there and left it in there. When it's overflowing, then we pick it out and we clear everything and then we sort it out. But for now, it's just what it is. I've got a coloring book in there. I've got some of my extra greeting cards. I normally buy a lot of greeting cards at the beginning of the year. So that is for anniversaries, um, like congratulation or thank you card. Just some basic mutual cards. If I need to write a card out for someone, I know where to look for it. As in, I have a few spare at home, so I can pick it up and use it. I don't want to have to go to the store if I need one card. This clock here, this camera clock, is a gift from a friend. They are very, very thoughtful. Every time they give us some sort of a gift, it's always in line with our interests. And this candle, this Yankee candle is also from them. I love candles. I love that smell that the candles give when you light them up. I've got so many candles around the house, but I hardly ever use it. This one, I loved it so much that I'm almost halfway through with it. And this frame here, 
it used to have a frame. It's a painting that we bought from one of our friends. I think it was last year that we bought this. It had a frame. I didn't put it up on the wall. We didn't nail it to the wall. I just left it up there. Somehow, it kind of lost balance when we were not in the room. It kind of, I think the window was open and it was really windy that day. It broke. It fell down and broke. So the frame itself broke. The glass shattered. I took that out. I was meant to buy another frame and put put it back in. But I just never got another frame at all. So I've just left it as it is. It still looks good. So I've left it as it is. And this bicycle that I have here, this is my absolute, absolute favorite thing in this room. Or maybe even in this shelf. This is something that I bought from Greece. I don't cycle at all. That's a disclaimer. First of all, I don't cycle. I didn't buy it because I enjoy cycling. I only bought it because I loved the entire engineering of it. It's true to the original cycle itself. Every tiny detail of it is so true to the actual bicycle itself. It's like a miniature version of a bicycle. And I really liked it. I found it in an antique shop in Athens. Um, I walked round and round and round in that shop. I saw so many other things and this was the only thing that caught my eye and I bought it immediately. I refused to let it go. The minute I saw it, I picked it up, held it in my hand, I walked around the entire store and I paid for it and I walked out. And I was beaming when I walked out from the shop. I just left it. Oh, there's no way I'm going to let that break. I will guard it with all my heart. That's all I want to show you in my office. Like I told you, the reason why I want to show you is to encourage you and to motivate you. If you don't have a dedicated space at home, you can make some space. It's extremely important to make sure that your workspace is decluttered. It's a happy space for you to spend one third of your life. It determines your own mindset. It determines your relationship with your work. It determines your own personality and your work-life balance and everything else. You don't even have to buy new things. You don't have to buy furniture or so new tech equipments and stuff. All you need to do is tidy it as best as you can. You know, in my drawer, I still use um, some of those containers that come with vegetables and biscuits and stuff. I've not bought any other containers. I've not bought this acrylic Tupperwares and stuff. I just use a biscuit container in there because it's handy. It kind of separates everything. It does what I need it to do and it's inside the drawer, so it doesn't matter. You can always find things around your house and rearrange it to work for you. So I really hope you liked it and I hope you are motivated to improve your home working environment. Some of the things are essential. You can't skimp on it, but some of the things you can find replacement at home. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos every week and I do a lot of different types of videos, uh, predominantly to add value to you, to myself, to encourage you, to motivate you, to try and help you, maybe even guide you to do more with your time. I wish you all the very best and I hope you enjoy working from home in this unprecedented time. Until I see you again next week. Bye.